Hi and welcome again. In this video, we are going to talk about DV PDF view for WordPress add-on. To get DV PDF view for WordPress add-on, you need to come to this page at themeandcode.com. Here, I will be putting the link in the description so that you can easily find it. But let me tell you, you need to install PDF view for WordPress at first. Because this is an add-on of PDF view for WordPress, so it will not work unless you have PDF Viewer for WordPress installed on your WordPress website. This plugin is sold on codecanon.net. I'll put the link of this plugin as well. So, when you visit this page, just click Buy Now and it will take you to the pricing plans. There are one side, three sites, and five sites. Choose the plan you need and click on Buy Now. Then you will be redirected to the theme and code portal. Complete the process and just click purchase. Then you can download the plugin. I already have this plugin, so I'm not doing this anymore. Let's move on. After that, come to your WordPress website. And then if you already have PDF Viewer created on your WordPress website, then you just use the DV PDF for WordPress add-on. But if you using the PDF Viewer for WordPress first time, you need to create a PDF Viewer per first. Let me show you how to use DV PDF Viewer for WordPress add-on here. You can easily embed or show a link of PDF or PDF Viewer using the DV Builder if you use this add-on. You can use it on any post or pages. Let's take a page and see what it does. Let's create a page. Okay, so let's name the page DV PDF Testing. And I'm going to use the DV Builder. Let's start building. Take a section and then search for PDF. You can see this add-on comes up with six modules. The bookshelf, the list grid, navigative, PDF your embed, PDF your image, and PDF your link. So let's start with PDF your link. When you take this module, it will be asking to select a PDF. Let's say I'm selecting my test magazine and I need to put a link text. Open PDF is the default. You can put anything here. Like put check this PDF. You can put a link class so that you can put additional CSS later sometime. Then there is link target. That is if you want to open it in the same window or the new tab. Jumped page will take you to that specific page, the number you're putting here. The default zoom is set to auto and the default page mode is set to default. You can choose anything from here. I'm keeping it as it is and click on set. Publish it. Now, when you check this PDF, you can see that there's a link with the text check this PDF. When someone clicks this link, a PDF viewer will open, which means this has a PDF viewer behind it. As you can see, a PDF viewer is opening. Isn't this nice? Now, let's check out the next option. Take another section and search for PDF. So, PDF viewer image. What this will do, this will show an image and when someone clicks that image it will open a PDF viewer. Select a viewer and then put the image URL here. Where to find the image URL? Go to your WordPress dashboard and then media. Select any image from here. Let's say this image and copy that link and put the link in image URL. The auto text and the link target in the same window or in the new window, then white and height, alignment and CSS. And then click save changes. And you can see 
the image is loaded click save and let's open it in a new tab to see what the difference it made you can see when I click this image it opens a PDF viewer so that's how it works now uh, let's delete it the third option that we're gonna see is PDF viewer embed it will embed a PDF viewer inside this page so take this select the PDF that you want then put the high white and height the iframe title and jump to base number jump to base number is uh, the number that automatically it will move to that page and then default zoom and page mode you can choose anything from here click save changes save and again let's test how it looks you can see a PDF viewer is embedded in this page which looks pretty nice and every option is available from here also there is a full screen mode which is clickable and if you click it and it will open in full screen now the three more options are bookshelf list grid and negative use the bookshelf or the list grid option you need another add-on that is called display pdf of wordpress add-on let's check it out it looks really amazing it will show your pdf files like this on a bookshelf that file is clickable and when you click it it will open as a light box or in any window it, it really looks nice and gives the website a nice user interface a nice way of presentation the PDFs so uh, if you want to show uh, your PDF files or ebooks on this bookshelf you need to get this add-on there's also two more options that is grid view and list view so in the grid view you can see there are grids of PDFs in the list view there are lists of PDF and in the grid view there are filtering options like categories search option shorting so this is a great plugin to have and the last option is navigative what navigative does is it doesn't create a lot of PDF viewer pages you can show different PDF viewers from one page so on your website uh, you can't see a lot of PDF viewers and that's a unique feature to have also it can be uh, nurtured from one place so it's a brilliant plugin to have you can get this from code canon check the description box to see the link that's all for today i hope you like this video for more such videos and knowledge about wordpress subscribe to tnc flipbook